The search intensifying for a suspect or suspects who attacked the power grid in North Carolina, leaving thousands without power for days. Whenever you haven't had power for a few days and turn on light switch, it, it, it means it's just everything. Police say someone opened fire at two electrical substations, cutting electricity on Saturday evening. Detectives recovering shell casings at the crime scenes about 13 miles apart on either side of Moore County. Some just getting their lights back on Wednesday night. You never know what you have have until it's been taken away. So uh, we're very fortunate to have power. Authorities offering a $75,000 reward in the investigation and filing federal search warrants in this case. Every investigator working on this case, state, local, and federal, know what you want and that's answers. This as officials in other parts of the country report similar attacks to the FBI. At least five power substations reportedly attacked in Oregon and Washington last month. The power companies are not saying how the attacks were carried out, but one briefly cut electricity to customers outside Portland, according to our station KATU. We have confirmed that this was malicious intent. This was no accident. Authorities in South Carolina are also investigating a shooting near an energy facility. The sheriff saying Duke Energy crews witnessed a person shooting from a vehicle near a power plant then speeding off on Wednesday afternoon. These incidents are putting a spotlight on the recent warning from experts who say the national power grid is vulnerable and could become a target for extremists. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.